Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw. So the next photo, uh, let me describe it because it's, it's, it's basically somebody taking a snapshot of what looks like a uh, pretty nicely designed poster. And on it are various animals, such as the polar bear, blue whale. The different messages written down, like save the dwarf seahorse. Uh, underneath the whole thing is uh, the ba- sort of the words, please help us, exclamation point. Uh, the future of our planet is in our hands. And all of this is drawn where somebody, where the hands are drawn as if wrist to wrist and palms are out. So it looks, it almost looks like, a, like the trunk of a tree. So all of this so far is like a two-dimensional illustration with, looks like it could be uh, watercolor or pencil crayon or marker. Uh, And then on the the illustration paper or the page uh, poster, there's what looks like, I don't know what that is. It it looks like little trees. It looks like little trees with pollen, little leaves. Yes. What's this image uh, so we can give the viewer a sense of what we're looking at? Okay. Well, this to do everything to do with our um, strategy, basically. So our strategy is through music and the arts and engage and inspire the next generation to get involved creatively. And because I have been in education for a long time, and so we engage with emotions, but we also really want to inspire the young people to actually experience through their own creativity, then they will understand and fall in love with wildlife. So this image is from our 2020 Voices for the Planet challenge Mm. that we have done, and it's drawn by a child. Oh, wow. This is nice. So it's a wildlife poster drawn by a child. And as you can see, there's various animals, wildlife around and talk. And uh, this child talked about from the, the wildlife perspective, putting the trees and the planet and the wildlife in our hands. Mm-hmm. And basically from, from the child's perspective, saying that the future, our planet, it's in our hands to taking the responsibility back to us humans of the the responsibility that we have what we do that will impact the way our planet is going to be the health of our planet and the health of our biodiversity our wildlife and the health of our children's future mm-hmm. so this is um I, i'm very very proud of these children we had over a hundred wildlife art created by children, by young people, not just children, but young people, all the way from six-year-old to college students. They created a music wildlife video. They created wildlife posters. They also created wildlife stories. Uh, when we have given them a just images and asked them to write their own stories, mm. or we give them stories and to ask them to illustrate the images in their mind. And this is, uh, I have to say, this is a fantastic way for young children to really uh, getting involved, to learn firsthand by creatively drawing, writing, producing. Then they're really, they then own this feeling mm-hmm. that they want to protect the wildlife, right? Yeah. It's not just us telling them, preaching to them. I know this is amazing because, for instance, I'll give you an example of someone who had done one of the stories, uh, a third grade child, and said, this is what he said he learned from the exercise. He says, we need to stop poaching immediately so that rhinos and other animals can survive and thrive in the wild. Writing the story about Lucky the Rhino based on the illustrations Lumi Voce provided was really sad for me. Seeing that someone's mom can die from poaching, it's very sad. I mean, this kind of learning, how it inspired. Yeah. 
the next generation, it's pretty amazing. It really goes down to a deep, deep level. Like it isn't just knowledge. So it's definitely having these these kids sort of internalize whatever actually they discover. Absolutely. Another young person, a third grade uh, winner to, <laughs> for our Voices for the Planet. And he says, by joining this challenge, I have been given a great opportunity to know more about the touching story and knowledges of different kinds of animals. The challenge stirs up my interest in exploring more and more amazing animal story and their lifestyle. It even influences my family as they like watching the animal documentary <laughs> recommended by me. I am so glad to see the change happen in my family. So this is the kind of uh, emotional connection I talked earlier that what we want by linking creativity and inspire the next generation. And the ripple effect of that sure. is amazing because so this child, he is interested. So he gets his whole entire family interested. How inspiring is that? It certainly sounds great. Yeah, as a conservationist myself, I definitely appreciate the perspective and the approach and the, the power of it. Okay, so sometimes, though, it's easy to lose, lose perspective and to feel a little bit defeated. It feels like you, you're losing ground, right? So just this week, the IUCN said, oh, you know, we saved the European bison from extinction, right? It was really close to extinction, so yes. it was saved, which is great. But 32... Uh, sp other species. Yeah, were yeah. listed as extinct. Uh, extinct. Yes. So it's like, oh, yes. brutal. So for the Voices for the Planet... Was there a sound element? So the question I wanted to ask you before, which is quite interesting in terms of, okay, so it becomes almost like a self-reflexive and, and a, like a meta question. Okay, you and I are recording a podcast, which is audio, and we're talking about visual elements. Why do you think a podcast, like somebody who's listening to us now, what is the strength of audio over, say, other media in terms of creating that connection inside people's heads, right? So you and I are just talking. We're separated by, I don't even know where in the world you're, 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 you live, but I live in, in Hong Kong, in Saikong. We're talking over... I'm in Hong Kong as oh, well. Great. <laughs> Do you still have the, the sound clips that, um, that uh, we yes. sent to you? Yes, yes. Can you play one of those, please? This is called An Ancient Whisper, which we are featuring the coral reef mm -hmm. uh, and our star in this is uh, a turtle and the reef because the reason we uh, feature these critical ecosystems is that this particular reef ecosystem supports 25% of marine life. Mm -hmm. So imagine the consequences if we lose reefs Scientists say this is one of the most critical ecosystem that we really need to save. Mm -hmm. And globally, we're trying to save them. But I want to show through sound how this, the beauty of this. And so let me just play this a little bit. In the beginning, uh, let me just give you a little bit. It's, it's that we're seeing through the human eyes of this very crowded beach. Yeah. Mm -hmm with thousands of people on the beach, very noisy. There are kids going to be playing in the sand and all this stuff, and, and people are swimming in the sea. But then, then we go into this quiet night when actually people had gone home, and then the turtles trying to come onto the beach and to hatch. Mm -hmm. And then the sound under the moon with the squishes of waves. And that's where this track comes from. Mm -hmm.
so beautiful. Yes, and that's me playing the piano, and we have the orchestra in the back,、mm-hmm. and then I was singing. So, if you actually, I mean, you know, the time's limited in this podcast, but、um, go on to our website and to our YouTube channel to listen to this in a quiet space.、Mm-hmm. It is very healing, yeah,、uh, because you will take a deep breath. When you hear the sound, and of course, in the middle, we also show how the plastic is 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 really destroying our ocean, and the pollution is destroying our reef. So,、um, and then of course, we want to show the beauty、uh, of the reef, of turtles, of all the incredible animals. Coral reefs bleaching are. So、uh, devastating at the moment,、mm-hmm. and so global scientists are trying to to come up with solutions. We take in more than seventy eighty percent of information through light, through images, but sound is. Life itself, it's a vibration. It's a wave. It goes much deeper. And it connects with your heart very deeply, and that is the emotional connection that Lumi Voce is all about. That's great. That's I think that that was probably, I think you just summed up the podcast most beautifully, and that will probably be the title of this episode because that was just perfect. Let's move on to the next image because I was, I if anything that. Probably the the best way that I think people can connect with Lumi Voce at the moment is that right? Yes. So, is life really a gift? Really? Can you make every second count? That's the whole point of the podcast. So, if you like what you've seen and you're inspired, because that really is my mission, then please. Give it a like, subscribe, and share. Shooting it raw. Yes, shooting it raw.